Thank you. All right, good morning. Welcome to ARPA. May 6, 2024. The time is 10 21. Roll call, please. All. Sure. Pro. Yes. Sure. Yep. Yep. Let's have a chance to look at the agenda. Can I get a motion? Yep. Can I get a second? Can I get a second? Thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Any public comments? All right, we'll move on and discuss, review, and take action our applications. Number 92, the Airplane County Moore. Is Thanks. anybody here to represent the Airplane County Moore? I can. Great, what do you got? So far, the amount of money that's been approved by the county board for the project uh, totals $160,609. There was a meeting held on April 17th. Mr. Geiger and myself met with the contractors to whom the project's been awarded. We prepared a timeline of work. Right now, it looks like the field work is going to start May 24th, weather permitting. <clears throat> there probably will be a few adjustments to the prices that I gave you. There's some indication in the plumbing and the electric and some things that might be modified a little bit that will save us a little bit of money. We'll, we'll know finding that out in the, probably within a month or so. And then on the building itself, uh, I have for the crews that are going to be holding the siding down to be stainless steel and not galvanized, so that probably will be a small, hopefully a small increase in cost for that. All total, I would expect that the, unless there's some other cost overruns or adjustments that we don't know about, I think the numbers are like this. Can you give me the. Also, also I'd point out that the future work is at the city for the building permit. The building permit is not going to cost us anything. The city gives us that for free. Don't surprise me, but. Maybe the animal control will get up for free for the fast. Anyways, uh, you want to give me uh, your number separately, and then we'll go through them. Okay. Um, hang on one second, please. So, with the, what needs to be approved today is the building shell, 64,500. 64, that's it again. 64,500. I can't read it. The electric at 20,945. Say that again. 20,945. Okay, this is a difference right here. The interior, 14,000. The site work and concrete, 32,000. Say that again. 32. 32 for site work and concrete. The HVAC, 19,875. The plumbing, 9,289. And then in addition, you had $12,000 for elevation, uh, flood surveys, um, site plan, and design and documentation for the board paid to Jeff Jarvis as well as M. I'm going to mess this up, Geinrich and Guru and Associates. Can you get twelve thousand dollars to own them? Is that what we paid out of hand or no? That you get by you. Jeff. Or Jeff. <laughs> Um, the first payment was made for $5,500, which was the right. building addition and flood elevation study. Then there was $2,500 the following month sent out for additional site planning. And then to, to Jarvis, um, also in March, 
4,000 for design and documentation of more addition. So 12,000. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, resolutions. Yep. I didn't hear about the 2,000, 2,000 or two. So let's go through them separately. Building, she says 64,500. So that totals, hold on. 162,609, right? No, uh, yes. Well, with the, let's see here, with the docks at 12,000, the shell at 64,5, the electric at 29,45, the interior carpentry at 14,000, the site work and concrete at 32,000, the HVAC at 19,875, and the plumbing at 9,289. Yes, 172,609. 172,609. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, you know, it should be this 172,609. 172,609. Mm -hmm. You're just three on sixty to one plus the second Jarvis check or second excuse me two A check. So we should be one seventy two of our obligations. I think they'll all be on paper. Everything broken down. If a deal on system like this. Uh, well you wouldn't build anything with no more than I could get down. So you need to have it in twenty five hundred subscribe. That's what we talked about. So it's about seventy two six hundred. Okay, got approved last month at the one seventy two six oh nine. Through the committee and through the board. Mm-hmm. All right. That's all I'm just gonna approve these stuff. Oh. Okay. So you're at 172609 in resolutions that need to be approved today. And then if you add in the 15800 from the cooler, the project so far is at $188,409. So well, but we approved the cooler separate. I'm saying the entire project then is at $188,000. And then the cooler was how much again? $15,800. Bill did get a bill. Bill did get a bill. Anyways, um, he uh, got a bill from um, Weber for the hookup of the cooler. Um, he has the claim made out to go to committee this, this week. He has it coming out of his um, automation. Um, so I don't know if that's something you want to work into the ARPA funding. Instead, I can still change that claim. Um, he doesn't get much in his automation. Um, how much is it? I'll give you a, uh, give me two seconds and I'll tell you a rough estimate because the treasurer's office is behind and I'm not sure where they're at. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Sorry, I'm so trying to work in my kid. Um, all right, so the county corner automation only it has uh, nineteen thousand in it now. Well, I meant the bill for Weber's. Yes, yeah, uh, um, uh, we'll tell you that here. So it just well, I don't have it in front of me. Sorry. So there's nineteen in his automation. And he usually has that um, saved up for a vehicle if he needs it, if and when he needs it. So let's see here. Okay. Zero, five, zero, We're looking at today $172,609. Okay, so Weber, uh, the Weber bill. Okay, okay, then. Sorry. Oh, I was talking to Paul, not you. <laughs> I just want to know. Right. Sorry. 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 Uh, three thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars. Three five fourteen. Yeah. 
Okay. So I don't know if that's something you want to tell him out of Arca as well, so he can continue to grow his account from a different when he needs a ban or if he wants to just take out. I'd like to think about that later. Automation, anyway. I just told him I would bring that up. All right, so we've got, we'll say, I want to say this right, going to seven things that we need to uh, make a decision on. I'd like to do them separately. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so there'll be 92, um, B, C, D. You want to call it building B? Building yeah, that's what got approved first, so. Then I'll go electrical will be C and yep. will be D. Okay. Site work. So it's all on the documents of the last one. 92 B C. I got addition flip survey. Site planning and um H uh flood survey, yeah. Elevation. So I am you ready for so yeah, if you want to start with B for building for $64,500. I move to adopt a resolution 92 and number it 92B for the building shell of the morgue in the amount of $64,500. I get a second. Any more discussion? Are we ready? All yes. Pro? Yes. Sure? Yep. Ducat? Yes. We want to move on to C for the electric $20,945. Any discussion? I move to adopt a resolution in the um, number 92C for electric work in the amount of $20,945 for the work. Can I get a second? Further discussion. All? Yes. Yeah, Pro? Yes. Sure? Yep. Do that? Yep. We'll move to D for interior, 14,000. Move to adopt a resolution number 92D in the amount of 14,000 for interior work on the water project. Yep. All? Yes. Pro? Yes. Sir? <coughs> yep. And then we'll move to 92E, uh, site work, and for the concrete too, $32,000. Move to adopt a resolution in the amount of $32,000 for concrete and site work in the MORP project. Second? Yep. Yes. Pro? Yes. Sure? Yep. Do that? Yep. 92F 90. for the HVAC for $19,875. Move to adopt a resolution number 92F in the amount of $19,875 for HVAC work in the new in the MORP project. Second? Yep. All? Yes. Pro? Yes. Sure? Yep. Do that? Yep. 92G for the plumbing, $9,289. I'll move to adopt, uh, adopt a resolution number 92G in the amount of $9,289 for plumbing in the MORP project. A second? Nope. Pro? Yes. Pro? Yes. Sure? Yep. Do that? Yes. We got 92H for the addition for the flood survey for the site planning and the elevation for twelve thousand dollars. NG two A. I think there's some question about the accuracy of that amount. Not the full accuracy. We ought to table that for the investigation. Those invoices have already been paid. I mean, you could still talk to them. I don't. I don't know anything about it. All I know is I got the bills, and they were needing payment right away. So um, I sent them off for payment. 
the Geiger is the one that's been primarily engaged in, in negotiating with that firm and he's got some questions about. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to let everyone what know. That, for more yeah. money or for what? I can't, I can hurt a fence. I don't know specifically what it was for. We got a quote from them for four subjects. Topographical survey, site plan, compass, compensatory cut field calculations, and stormwater detention design. We didn't need any stormwater detention. I don't know if we needed this compensatory cut field calculations. Is, I don't know. And that was for $3,000. Uh, the first two were for $2,500 each, the topographical survey and the site plan. I did see an invoice here back in February 1st, they sent to me, including her, I think, or I sent her, they were $2,500 each, one for the topographical survey and one for the flood elevation survey. And that was $3,000, excuse me, for that $2,500 for the first one. So without looking at that invoice, I don't know. The invoices didn't say much, I can pull them. Um, but it did say 23-644 building addition and flood elevation study. Um, that was three thousand dollars on my invoice. For the yeah, it was fifty five hundred on the one we got. That's the total, correct? It was mm -hmm. broken down into topographical survey and elevation. And then the uh, more building addition site plan was twenty five hundred. Those are the two invoices that I received. But the bottom line is, you written twelve thousand dollars in checks. Well, to them specifically. Uh, eight thousand, yeah. Uh, the four thousand was the Jarvis. It's the part that's in question with Jarvis. No, not with Jarvis. With the the M G two A. Mm -hmm. So we've actually expended eight thousand dollars to that to Jarvis. Mm -hmm. No, to M G two A. M G two A. That's the Okay, so. Well, it's easier to say. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, so we actually need to adopt a resolution to cover the amounts that have been expended, and then you can question the details exactly. of, and we can. Yeah, because we haven't had ARPA in a couple months, so right. they needed to be right sent. cleaned up. Right. The so, other question then also becomes: Are we obligated to expend any more money to either of those? I don't think Jarvis. I don't believe so. Those, and I don't think there will be a final elevation survey done of the concrete floor that the city needs. But I was told by MG that that had already been figured in their elevation uh, survey proposal. So, so we've already paid them for that, then. Yes. I believe so. Yes. I. It looks like that. Tomato versus tomato. They got site plan, compensatory cut bill, and stormwater. And she mentioned on the invoice a different terminology, which might be the same thing. So it shouldn't take much to clean up what MG2A. So and these claims were approved, sent through committees the last two months and approved through finance as there was no ARPA. So um, what we really need is a resolution for $8,000 with 12000 you want to go ahead and work that out then if there's a thousand dollar difference get a refund is that what you want to do well since we've already paid out twelve thousand yeah i think that's well oh see i misunderstood i asked okay yeah so we need twelve thousand there's two okay. vendors one got eight thousand one got okay. four okay <laughs> got it so twelve thousand total for uh, documents Pertaining to the with the detail of the of the, uh, of the question of the bill to be worked out and addressed. Okay, I'll move to adopt a resolution in the amount of twelve thousand dollars for to Jarvis and NG two A for elevation flood site design work. No second for the more project. <clears throat> Yes. Pro. Sir. Yes. yes. All right. That's all for today. Administrative costs. As long as you two ladies don't have anything else. Okay.
move on to old business. What are we doing with administrative calls? Okay. Uh, every once in a while, I have a claim <clears throat> that I've been charging some office supplies to like postage and uh, paper envelopes, things like that. Because, you know, we've spent a lot on paper and envelopes, especially. I know. So, and then it was discussed at one point if you guys wanted to allocate any of our hours we've already, you know. I'm just going to eat mine. To uh, ARPA and it would go back to the general fund. Um, I would like to look, I'd like to keep that on the agenda to look at reimbursing some salaries there at the end. Um, I mean, you could do that. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, once we get a little firmer of a number after the morgan, I mean, you things like that. Those. Hmm? You've tracked those. I have tracked my hours spent, yes, so it wouldn't be hard to do an outpatient job. <coughs> oh. Well, I can't anyway because I got two meetings on the same day, so whatever you're going to do, that's okay. All right. Any old business? <coughs> Any new business? Yes, yes. I do. Okay. Um, Scott gave me the What's Get Here Food Pantry. Scott, I'll hold on to it. Um, we don't know what we're going to end up with, but it's nice to have this anyways. So if we can help them out, I'll move up. Did you want to give us some details about what I recall a conversation you and I had? Would that be appropriate? Is that okay with what? you? Go ahead. Well, your initial request, obviously. Uh, yeah, we don't have that. I don't know what's with 188,000 committed today to work project. Is that correct? That number? So then, how much remains? 225 is what we approved. We well, didn't really approve anything. That's what you do about right, here. Right. Here. right. <laughs> There's no resolution for a total for right. the morgue. We kept it open because we weren't sure. So, assuming it comes in at 225 or whatever that number. Is how much approximately comes left after that? Um, we don't think so. Yep. What's the number on this thing? Where it says no. If we do, we're going to have to probably open another one. So, with everything approved today, um, we have spent five million to or five million seventy five thousand six hundred forty six dollars and eight cents. So that approximately just with one hundred and ninety thousand. And the only other outstanding is what is left of the morgue building. Um, if there are any additional administrative costs, and um, I think that's it. Um, okay. Okay, so anyway, if there are funds left, they were late in the initial application process. And so all I could say about them is it's not so much the hardware or the refrigerators or the freezers anymore. Um, their clientele list has doubled. And with inflation, now they're looking more along the lines of needing money for operating costs. So any type of help along those lines would be appreciated. And the only reason I bring this up is they were late and they weren't awarded anything in the initial round of grants. And they touch every community. I know there are other food pantries in the county, but this one here, they have clients from every town, village. So I think it's an appropriate use of money for the whole county. There's any to be had. So that's. No, I agree, Scott. We've also had a talk that uh, maybe getting some of these managers uh, with education, too. It's something else we've noticed lately. It's the lack of. Methodist. It's at the Methodist Church. It's application 135. So. Anyways, thank you, Scott. Yeah. No further business. Can yes, I get sir. What do you want now? <laughs>
There's no application or file for this at all. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to look to Jill and Amanda. If we have any money left, I would like for us to take a serious look at replacing these chairs in this boardroom. They are hideously uncomfortable. I'm sure we could use them someplace else, but if we could, I know it's pennies. We for chairs versus feeding people. I know, no, no. and uh, I'm not talking about a large expenditure. I'm talking about something functional that fits. We can give them these chairs, and we can get up to the chairs. Well, whatever works. I'm open to anything, but those chairs have been here, I think, since we got the building, and. Um, I'd like for us to look at. So, can you come up with some? <laughs> do it yourself, Donna. Uh, yeah. You're talking about every chair in this room? No, no, sir. I'm talking about those beige bucket chairs. <laughs> okay. It's good that you identified that. That's right. Can what the beige <laughs> bucket chairs. Why should this be <laughs> Donna just wants them for her house, that's all. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have chairs and chairs and chairs at my house, but you take them home with you, Jill. <laughs> so you're against the chairs? I didn't say that. I made a comment, y'all. Thing they do right now is they keep people from falling asleep. That's right, because if you fall asleep, you slide right out to be on the floor. <laughs> 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 That's our office. Stretch. Sit. 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 Stretch. Sit down. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> There's the first. You a second? Second. All fair side. All right. Motion passes. Thank you, everybody. Time is 1048.